What's going on YouTube? Today we're reviewing the brand new Disney Plus show, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So I have never read the Percy Jackson books. I don't know how close this show resembles the books or is, is as close as the books. I have no idea the resemblance of the books to this TV show. Now I know the movies were very far off from the books, which... To be fair, uh, I, I actually liked Logan Lerman's uh, uh, Percy Jackson. Second one's okay. The first one I liked. I thought it was pretty good. I'm just going to say this now. I loved the first two episodes of this show. It has flashbacks of when Percy Jackson's actually a little kid. His dyslexia is kind of kicking in. From there, it goes into the museum scene with Mrs. Dobbs. Obviously, the weird vampire thing. I don't know what she actually is. But she's pretty goddamn creepy. I cannot lie. And in this show, Percy Jackson's accused of pushing this girl into the fountain, which he doesn't mean to. He kind of just like does this. And he's obviously the son of Poseidon. So he pushes her into the water, blah, 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 blah. He gets kicked out of school and Grover kind of gets him kicked out of school by blaming him, which to be fair, Grover's like protecting him. He's getting old enough to a point where Percy Jackson needs to get to Camp Half-Blood because that place is going to protect him. People are going to be coming after him because he's the son of Poseidon. He is a demigod. So he gets him kicked out of school. Him and his mom actually take a road trip to a place where she first met his dad. It's raining. The vibes are there. She finally tells him that he is a demigod. He doesn't believe it. He doesn't think she's telling the truth. He thinks she's lying constantly. And Grover shows up with his hairy ass goat legs. Now Grover is part goat thing. I, I don't actually know what he is. I, I, I heard the name last night, but I forgot what Grover actually is. And I, I really like the characters so far. I think the person who plays Grover is great. Walker Scoble is amazing. And oh my God, Annabeth, great. Great choice. After Grover comes in, they need to get to Camp Half-Blood or everything's going to be coming after them. So they're driving down the road and all of a sudden the Minotaur comes out of nowhere, running up behind him with his underwear. Awesome Minotaur. The Minotaur looked great. Loved the look. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So the Minotaur comes up behind him, actually destroys the car. Car flips. They all basically almost die. They get out. She cannot enter Camp Half-Blood because she is a human. She is not a demigod. She is not part god. So therefore, she cannot enter Camp Half-Blood. So the Minotaur grabs her and he like dissolves her in his hands and they realize that they didn't smash her, they just dissolved her. So she went somewhere, she didn't actually die. While this is going on, Percy Jackson turns around, pulls out his pen, clicks it, and he chases after the Minotaur and actually kills the Minotaur by stabbing it with its own horn, which I, th I think that's always how they die. And you guys get the gist of this episode. I loved it. It was great. I, I think they did a really good job of telling the story of Percy Jackson again in this episode. Now, it's a lot different than Logan Lerman's, but it's still kind of similar to the Percy Jackson that we know. And I really, really liked the first episode. It was a very good lean into the show. Like I, I want more. I wanted more. If I'm going to rate episode one, I'm going to give it a 7.8 out of 10. But with that being said, we're moving on to the review of episode two. I'm not going to go as in depth with this episode, but I will say this episode was definitely better than the first one. You have Percy Jackson trying to fit into Camp Half-Blood and no one knows who he is. He's the new guy. He's, he's the absolute new guy. And the first person that he interacts with is, yeah, yes, Luke, Hermes' son. Now, when a new demigod enters Camp Half-Blood, they don't know what they are. They're unidentified, so they go straight into Hermes' cabin or whatever. Percy doesn't know who his father is still. They still have not told him who his father is in this episode. Percy Jackson starts running into bullies. There's people that are kind of toxic. They don't like him very much because he's the new guy. Towards the end of this episode, we see Capture the Flag. One of my favorite scenes from the movies. I absolutely loved it. Percy Jackson pulls out his pen sword. He's getting beat up by these bullies from earlier. I think it's Ares' daughter that actually tries to beat him up, but he breaks her spear. Percy Jackson's getting all torn up. His face is all gross. He flies into the water. They push him into the water and he stands up and then he's just healing. He's, his whole body's healing, which I thought was awesome. And then above him, you see the trident of Poseidon. Here's a voice saying that Poseidon claimed him. Finally, he knows who his father is. It is Poseidon, the god of seas. One of my favorite gods. Poseidon has to be one of my favorite gods. He's fucking awesome, dude. So freaking sick. So we finally know that Percy Jackson is the son of Poseidon. If I'm going to rate this episode, I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. I thought it was so freaking awesome, fun. Uh, I hope this review wasn't too long and boring. I tried to make it as, as cool as possible. I know I'm not the best at these. I'm still learning how to do some reviews and stuff, but I will have a review out for every single episode coming soon. I cannot watch them. I'm sorry. I would love to watch and then review it, but unfortunately I have a baby now, so I can't really sit here for too long without, you know, him crying and then I have to go pick him up and, and feed him and stuff. 
But uh, yeah, so I, I loved it. I love the series so far. I want to see where it's going. It looks great. The cinematography is great. Walker Scoble is great. I freaking love it. You guys need to check it out right now. It's on Disney+. Plus. They just dropped two episodes yesterday. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.